Yeah, you got a tight kick. So. All right, welcome everybody. This is yeah. a third week of old school, new school, where your teachers are trying to answer questions with their help. Teachers, go ahead and unmute yourself. Say hi to all the kids. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to explain the game again for everybody who uh, might be joining us for the first time. So we have some old school and new school questions for people to answer. And we're going to spin a spinner. And whatever school it lands on gets to choose the category. And they get to choose if it's an old school question or a new school question that they want to answer. Hopefully, kids, you have access to the Google Doc that your school has shared with you so that you can drop your guesses into the doc, and that will help out your teacher, your principal, or your vice principal. And if it's a new school question, a lot of your teachers might need your help. And if it's an old school question, well, your teachers might know something you guys don't, so you're going to learn a little bit more. We're going to play for 30 minutes or until we answer all the questions. You'll see that we have five categories, two questions for each. And then just a reminder, new from last week is two of the questions are what's called a mix-up, which means that you're going to be given a category and you're going to be given a word where all the letters are mixed up. And the first school to hold up the correct writing of that word will get the full five points and nobody else will. We also have a special this week. Any school that gets the bonus question correctly, we are going to play a shout out video from the kids at that site. Now this week we weren't able to get videos from every school, but hopefully the kids that are watching right now are motivated by what they see. And we'll send in videos saying hello to all their teachers and VPs so that we have every school represented next week. So schools, if we don't have a shout out video from you, I'm gonna go ahead and play a random one from another site. And then if that school wins again, then we'll go ahead and play a random one from them. The goal is just to play some awesome videos from our students in our district today. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit the spinner. Schools, remember you don't the spinner they do at home i'll just let you know which school we land on and first up is orange grove so orange grove go ahead and let me know what category and uh, you can unmute what category and what era would you like orange grove wants disneyland okay do you want old school or new school Ooh, let's go old school disneyland all right old school disneyland right away it is the mix up this is the new question type we're going to give you a category related to Disneyland. I'm going to let you look at it for a little bit. Then we're going to scroll down and show you the word mixed up. Whichever school thinks they know it first, you're going to go ahead and write it down and put it up on the screen. So the first one to put the answer up on the screen is going to get five points. And right away, we're going to have a school in first place. So let's go ahead and show you the category. The category schools is Fantasyland. And here is the mix up word. All right, I see Matterhorn from Jefferson. Mrs. Lee from uh, Jefferson has Matterhorn. Great job. We're going to go ahead and give five points to Jefferson for Matterhorn. And even though it wasn't a bonus question, we're going to go ahead and show a shout out video from Jefferson. Hello, Jefferson Eagles. Go, go Ms. Lee. Lee.
Francisco for Disneyland New School. All right. And thank you. My uh, uh, 10 year old just shouted up. You're, you guys are muted. So uh, Franklin's choosing Disneyland New Schools. All right. And for Disneyland, it is not a mix up. You'll have one full minute for this question. Remember, you don't need to rush. What is the newest land that opened at Disneyland? You have one full minute to answer this question. You're going to write it down. Don't show it until we ask. If you know it early, you may want to start asking your kids in the dock everything they know about this land because the bonus question is likely related. Forgot to start the timer, so you guys are going to get a little bit of extra time on this one. Twenty seconds left on the clock. If you know the answer already, spend some time. Everything you know about it. What is the name of the land? We're looking for the official name of the Disney land, uh, the new land that opened. Eight seconds left. All right, time is up. Three, two, one. Chin it, please. Go ahead and put your answers up if you know it. And it is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You must have Galaxy's Edge in order to get the answer correct. Judges, we're looking for Galaxy's Edge. If they have Star Wars Land and Galaxy's Edge, that's fine. Star Wars Galaxy Edge is fine. They need Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. All right, we're going to give our judges a couple seconds to just make sure they got everyone's scores right. We're going to do some shout outs for the people who are joining us today. We have Mrs. Schwartz from Barton. We have Mrs. Hiramoto from Edison. We have Miss Martin from Franklin, Miss Amador from Gower, and Miss Blumel from Gwynn. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. All right, we're going to move on to the bonus question now. Judges, if you uh, need them to put their, their answers back up, we'll have them do it after the bonus. We're going to move on to the bonus. Now, this one, remember, you want to pop into chat to hold your spot in line if you think you know the answer correctly. Okay, bonus question is worth two points. And here is the bonus question. What ship can you fly in this land? All right, you're popping in, you're popping in. Let me see who uh, popped in first. Uh, Yvette, uh, go ahead and give us the answer. You can unmute and tell us. What ship can you fly in this land? It is the Millennium Falcon. Great job. All right. So we're going to do a shout out from Roosevelt. Hello, Jefferson Eagles. Go, Roosevelt, go. All right. So I know, Yvette, you weren't able to see that, but you'll be able to watch it on the stream. Everyone at home was able to see it. Um, so great job. We're going to go back. We're going to take a look at what our current score is. And remember, go ahead and mute yourself once we're done answering. And Disneyland is now completely out. Cannot answer Disneyland. We have uh, Jefferson in first with 10, Roosevelt in second with seventh. And then we've got a three-way tie all the way. Well, more than a three-way tie. Tie all the way down for third place. All right. We're going to go ahead and hit the spinner and we're going to go again. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Stoddard, go ahead and choose. Stoddard, go ahead and unmute and choose a category for us. Okay. Um, hi, everybody at Stoddard. Love you guys. Miss you. Um, how about music, new school? All right, music, new school. Okay, remember, you're going to have a full minute to answer this. What song owes its popularity to its predictable and upbeat melody, simple lyrics, and has a different family member in each verse? You have one minute to answer. You don't want to show it until we ask for it. Music. 
All right, you got about 30 seconds. If you know the answer, you're going to put down everything you know about that song. You're going to reach out to the kids on your dock and see if they can help you out. The way the bonus questions work, it's related. You'll have a much better chance if you ask the kids to tell you everything they know about this song. All right, five seconds left. Three, two, one, go ahead and chin it. And it is Baby Shark. And you're welcome everybody at home watching for that song stuck in your head the whole weekend. Baby Shark is the answer. We're gonna go ahead and give judges a couple of seconds here to make sure everybody gets their credit for their uh, answer to the song. And we're gonna go ahead and do some more shout outs. We have Miss Leon from Henry today. We have Miss Lee from Jefferson, Mr. Zamarifa from Juarez. Uh, Miss Mendez from Lincoln and Miss Mays from Loera. Thank you for joining us today. All right, we're going to move on now to the bonus question. Remember the bonus question. If you know the answer, you're going to just drop a letter in chat to hold your spot. Uh, contestants, we talked about this. No Googling after you've held your spot. You can Google before, but once we, we call on you, you got to know the answer. Here's the question. Which family member is featured in the fourth verse of Baby Shark? Um, all right, Julian, go ahead and unmute yourself, Julian, and give us the answer. Oh, you're on mute, Julian. Go ahead, unmute, <laughs> and give us the answer. Grandma Shark. That is correct, Grandma Shark. You know your baby shark. All right. Hey, Julian, can you do, uh, actually, I have it for you. I was going to ask you which uh, site you're representing today, but I have it here on the list. We'll pull it up here. Julian is representing Ross. You know, unfortunately, we don't have a video this week from Ross. So any of the kids from Ross, um, go ahead and send us in videos. Send them into your uh, principal or VP, and we're going to be able to share some videos of you next week. But we're going to do a random one right now. Let's choose a random site. Let's uh, have Stoddard. Everything's good in your family, friends. Um, I love you guys so much that I miss you so much. Bye. All right. We're going to go ahead now and go on to the next question. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel and choose. And we're going to see what score we currently have, where we're at. We have... Let it load here. We have Jefferson still in first place. Roosevelt in second, tied with Ross. So Ross has pulled up and is tied. Roosevelt for second. And then we've got a couple schools that have pulled to the back uh, for fourth place. And then we've got a long tie in the middle for third. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel again. We're going to see which school chooses the next category. Olive. Olive, go ahead and unmute yourself. Music new. Disneyland completely is gone. Everything else is open. Olive, what do you want? Can we have new movies, please? Yes, new movies. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's a mix-up. New movies is a mix-up. And the category for the mix-up this time is Avengers. So you're going to see a mixed-up uh, word related to Avengers. When you know it, you're going to write it down. And the first school to put it up on their camera and correct is going to get five points. This is a great way to get in the lead. So the mixed-up word is this. Yvette, Doctor Strange is correct. Oh my gosh. Carolina, you were half Sorry. a second behind. Half a second behind. That was so close. All right, five points to Roosevelt. Great job. Roosevelt, I don't know if we have any more shout outs from you. Let me check. Uh, no, we only had one. So we're going to do a random shout out now for a school. Let's do a shout out for Barton. All right, there was a shout out for Barton. And again, I know uh, contestants at home, you're not able to see him. It's not as exciting. We'll try to find our way. We've got like four screens here trying to manage everything. We'll try to do it next week. Uh, but if you watch the stream, you'll be able to see that. 
All right, let's go back to the homepage and let's see how we're doing on our score. We've got exactly 15 minutes left in the game. We have Roosevelt in first place with 17. We have Jefferson in second with 15 and Ross in third with 12. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. All right, Madison. Madison, go ahead and unmute yourself and choose the category and the era you would like. Hello, Mighty Mustangs. I'm so excited. Let's see. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do music old school. All right. All right. Music old school. All right. Remember, you're going to have a full minute to answer this question. You're going to write it down and don't put it up till we ask. What legendary 1984 rock album was the first CD manufactured in the U.S. for commercial release? The kids may be no help on this unless <laughs> you've got students that have awesome Google skills, in which case you may want to leverage that if you don't know the answer. Thirty seconds left. If you know the answer, you might want to be Googling yourself, or maybe you've got a kid that's a huge fan of this uh, uh, artist that may know everything about it. Get ready for the bonus question. All right, you have five seconds left. We're going to have you chin it in three, two, one. Go ahead and show us your answer. And the album is Born in the USA. Go ahead and hold it up so that we can see, so judges can see. The answer is Born in the USA. Five points for everyone who got that correct. I'm looking, judges, and it looks like we pretty much all got it correct. Just do a quick check. While judges are checking, we're going to do more uh, some more shout-outs here. Uh, Miss Alonzo from Madison. Uh, Mr. Sundley from Man, Miss uh, Jero from Marshall, Miss Kim from Olive, and Miss Bartoldis from Orange Grove is here today. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next question. Let me pull back up on my screen. All right, let's see what the new score is, by the way. We might have had some movement there. Oh, we didn't do the bonus question. We didn't do the bonus question. Sorry, guys. Let's do it. Let's do the bonus question so somebody can get their extra two points. All right, here we go. Bonus question. Remember, bonus question, you're going to just drop a letter in chat or a, a character in chat to hold your spot if you know the answer to this. Here's the bonus question. What TV actress made a cameo in Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark video? All right, Erica, go ahead and unmute yourself. Erica, you were up first. I might be frozen on my screen here or Erica. Uh, Erica, can you drop it in? Uh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> on my screen here where I'm able to hear you guys, I've got you frozen for some reason. Um, let me see. Um, for judges, if you were able to hear it, if she got it correct. I know everybody else can hear Erica. I can't for some reason. Um, did Erica get it correct? No. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next one. Sorry, Erica. Sorry, sorry. Um, all right, Janie, Miss Patton. Hi, it's Courtney Cox. It is Courtney Cox. That is correct. Two points Yay. for Stoddard. Go Stoddard, sorry go. About that. Sorry about the technical difficulties, Erica. I don't know what happened. On one screen, you were cool. On the other one, you were frozen. And unfortunately, the one you were good on, I don't have audio. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go back and see what our point totals are. And we have Roosevelt with 22, Jefferson with 20, Ross and Stoddard are tied for third with 17, and then we've got a long tie for fourth. We're going to go ahead and spin it again, and we're going to go ahead and choose another school. 
Gower. Gower, I'm going to have you unmute in just a second, but I realized we did not do the shout out for Stoddard. So we're, I think I have hey, another shout out for me. Stoddard. So we're going to go ahead and do a Stoddard um, shout out. Here we go. Everything's good in your family. We've done that one. Let's do a new one. Hi, Stoddard. I miss you. I can't wait to see you next school year. I hope you're all doing fine. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and continue. Gower, go ahead, Gower, unmute yourself and choose a category and era for us. Um, could I have Games New School? Games New School, all right. Okay, you're gonna have a full minute to answer this question. In Minecraft, what do you wear to stop an Enderman from attacking you? You've got a full minute to answer this question. In Minecraft, what do you wear to stop an Enderman from attacking you? You might know this. I guarantee you your kids know it. If you do know it, you're gonna to wanna to do everything you can to learn everything you can about this game so you're ready for the bonus. All right, you got 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Please chin it in three, two, one. The answer is a pumpkin, a pumpkin on your head. You want to wear a pumpkin on your head. A carved pumpkin is great. Pumpkin, pumpkin on your head, pumpkin. Yes, anything, pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. That is correct. Great job, everybody. Judges, go ahead, take a look. Make sure you get all the points while you do that. Let's do our last rounds of shout outs. Uh, we have Mr. Gruber from Ponderosa. We have Miss Visser from Price. We have Miss Sparks from Revere. Miss Casillas from Roosevelt. Mr. Uh, Lopez from Ross. Miss Patton from Stoddard. Miss Vera from Sunkiss. <laughs> and Miss Johnson from Westmont. All right, let's do the bonus question. This bonus question is going to be related to the main question. Again, it's worth two points. Only one school gets this question and you want to drop the letter into chat when you are ready to answer. What year did Minecraft release to the public? You guys were quick on that, and it is going to go to Miss Blue Mel. Miss Blue Mel, what year did Minecraft release to the public? 2009. 2009 is correct, yes. The alpha release, released to the public in 2009. That's two points for uh, Gwen. You're it's Gwen, correct, Miss Blumel? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Okay, I think we got a shout out for Gwen. Let's go ahead and look. Hello, everybody. I hope everyone's being safe and healthy and staying indoors so we can get through these times. Stay safe. All right. We're ready to move on to the next question. We only have about six minutes left, so we're coming close to the end of the game, close to the end. We're gonna go ahead and click the spinner again and see who is up next. And it's Westmont. Westmont, go ahead and choose a category and an era for us, please. Let's go with television old. All right, television old school. You have one minute to answer this question. Who was born and raised in West Philadelphia? Who was born and raised in West Philadelphia? Again, the key to the bonus question isn't necessarily knowing this one early, but it's knowing this one early and being able to figure out everything you know related to the question. You might know the answer right away, but you should start digging around in that dock with the kids. Maybe the kids know this one. Or digging around in your memory, everything you remember about this one so that you are ready to answer that bonus question when it pops up. You have 25 seconds left.
All right, schools, you have 10 seconds left. All right, go ahead and chin it in three, two, one. <laughs> the answer is yes, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Correct, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. All right, we're going to move on now to the bonus question. Here we go. It's time for the bonus question. Remember the bonus question. If you know the answer, you're going to drop a character into chat to hold your spots. We're two points. Only one school can get this. What was the name of the family butler in Bel Air? Uh, 356, 356. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Trying to find the split here. Um, It looks like Erica, you were up first. Erica, go ahead. Hi, Lions. It's Jeffrey. It is Jeffrey. Jeffrey was the butler in the yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> Great job. All right. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to find a shout out. We do have a shout out for Lincoln. So again, apologies to contestants. You're not able to see them, but you can see them recorded on YouTube later. But shout outs for everybody. Else. Hi, Lincoln Lions. This is Ms. Mendes, your school counselor. I just want to let you know that we are very proud of you for all your efforts during distance learning. We know it's not easy and you are all rising to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Remember to stay patient, stay positive and continue to try your best. We miss you so much. And remember, we are here for you. Just check in. How are you guys doing? Everybody good? All right, we're back and we're going to go ahead and go back to the main site. We're going to see the leaderboard, see how we're doing here. With only three minutes left, it's likely our last main and bonus question. We should be able to get through the main question and the bonus question, but probably this is the last spin on the spinner. Let's go ahead and spin, spin. Ross, Ross, go ahead and choose a category and an era for us, please. And you can see on the screen what's crossed out and available. Mr. Lopez, you're gonna have to unmute your mic. Uh, movies old, please. Movies old, old school movie question. All right, you're gonna have a full minute. In what 80s movie do two boys tra time travel in a photo booth? I'm sorry, not a photo booth, a phone booth. In what movie, 80s movie, do two boys time travel in a phone booth? You got one full minute. like the last one knowing it quick is great if you can dig around in your brain and remember everything else about this movie so you're ready for that bonus question All right, you got 20 seconds left, 20 seconds. If you know the answer, that's awesome, but you should be digging around and figuring out everything about this movie so you're ready for the bonus. 10 seconds left. All right, go ahead and chin it in three, two, one. And it is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I was ready to accept Bogus Journey, but I don't see any Bogus Journeys there. So um, the inferior Bill and Ted's movie, Bogus Journey is much better than Excellent Adventure. Just my own opinion. All right. Excellent Adventure is correct. Uh, judges, I think it looks like everyone got that one correct. Um, if you have it correct, go ahead and hold it up. Give them a second to add it to the score. They'll drop in chat if they need you to put it back up. And then let's go ahead and do the bonus. And yep, we are right at our time. So this will be the last opportunity to get points. Last opportunity to get points. What is the name of Bill and Ted's band? Uh, Miss Martin, go ahead. Miss Martin, I saw your first one up as the question was revealed. Some of you are dropping it in before the question's there. Miss Martin, you were the first one to put it up when the question was on the screen. Go ahead on mute. All right, Miss Martin, it doesn't look like you know the answer. Julian, go ahead and answer Sorry, for. I can't mute. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Miss Martin. Go ahead. Uh, face the music. That is incorrect. Julian, oh. go ahead on mute. Wild stallions. 
It is Wild Stallions. Yes. <laughs> Two points for Ross. All right. Do we have another shout out for Ross? Let me check. Those of you at home, hold on one second while I check. Oh, no, we do not have a shout out. Ross Kids, send us your uh, shout out videos for next week. We want you on our uh, stream. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our final totals for the week. Uh, Roosevelt is wins in first place with 37 points, followed by Jefferson with 35, Ross with 34. Great job, Roosevelt. Roosevelt wins with 37. Thank you so much, schools, for participating. This is always a lot of fun. It's a great way to end the week. Kids at home, we really encourage you to check out all our other streams. On Monday, Dr. Downing does his fellow kids where he does some toy unboxing and gives you a nice positive message to start the week. Tuesdays, we now have Look What I Can Do. Send us in videos of awesome things you can do. Drawings, uh, uh, talents, Legos you've made, pictures, songs you can play, whatever it is, send it to stream at AESD.org. We want to show you on our stream the awesome things you're able to do. Wednesdays, we have Search It Up. We're 3D printing a random item, and if you guess it right, three kids will be able to get that item delivered to their home. Thursdays, we have uh, Mrs. Houston is drawing live with you, and she's going to be doing an awesome one for the census next week. And then Friday, we're going to do this all over again. Schools, go ahead and mute yourself and say bye to all the kids at home. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.